Well, that episode of Grandad brings to an end children's programs for today. Well, programs for children will be back on the air here on BBC One tomorrow afternoon at 4.20 when Chloe Ashcroft and Chris Tranchell will be back in the school studio, play school studio. At a quarter to five, a gaggle of galloping ghosts involve Scooby-Doo. And then at five past five, John Craven presents a selection of some of the most interesting stories from the latest news. To round off the afternoon's programmes, ten past five sees the last of four episodes in Pamela Brown's thriller, The Swish of the Curtain. With the plan for the gang's pantomime discovered, it's up to Nigel to save the day. Children's programmes tomorrow on BBC One. In 20 minutes, the day's news in Northern Ireland in Scene Around Six. Mrs Thatcher says she's amazed that people in Northern Ireland can't agree on a peaceful coexistence. At the funeral of one of the young policemen killed in Tyrone, the moderator of the Presbyterian Church attacks the idea of special treatment for terrorists. The end of an era at Harland and Wolfe, the last slipway at Queen's Island is closed and there may never be another launch. And the shipyard worker who spread his wings and became an architect. Later tonight on BBC One, the first of a new series, Fighter Pilot, follows the fortunes and failures of a group of young men who dream of becoming the RAF's top flyers. It's a delicate balancing act. They have to submerge themselves in a team and at the same time display natural qualities of leadership. 20 seconds to go. The majority of people at the end of the whole procedure here enjoy it. They've said they've enjoyed it and they've learned something about themselves. Three, two, one. Fighter Pilot, tonight at 8.30 on BBC One. <laughs> We're now on BBC One at 5.40, the evening news with Richard Baker. Jeff Boycott is suspended by Yorkshire, ordered out of the dressing room for comments made on BBC television news yesterday. The TUC rules out any talks on pay restraint, at least with the Conservatives. President Reagan receives Israel's Mr. Begin for the first time, a meeting of friends or a confrontation. And the switch on for Britain's newest television service.